ice, if it forms on the wings, that can increase drag and reduce lift. You don't want that. De-icing is critical. So to see it firsthand, we went to my hometown of Denver. Earlier this month, United de-iced a record 471 planes in one day as they dug out from five inches of snow, starting with plane engines, then nose to tail, wingtip to wingtip. We want to make sure that all frozen contaminants are removed from all the critical lifting surfaces, the fuselage, the tail, the wings. Four trucks surround a plane on the pad, methodically spraying it down to ensure it's safe to fly. It's not just snow, it's freezing rain, it's frost, it's ice, it's any kind of freezing pellets or moisture that might weigh down a plane. All of it must be taken off before the plane can ever fly. An advanced science based on the lessons of decades-old ice-related crashes. The de-icing op center constantly tracks the temperature and the forecast. Last year, United went through 1.7 million gallons of de-icing fluid in Denver. Each plane typically takes 10 to 15 minutes to clear. This is not a job that you can be cavalier at. Safety. That's my first and foremost is the safety of flight. Ensure that airplane is clean before takeoff and before you release it off the pad.